Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. So some of you know that I just got a, a new Harbor Freight mini lathe, a 7x10, a few days ago. And I'm going to be making a couple of upgrades to make it more usable. Uh, the first one is a quick change tool post. I, I picked this up from littlemachineshop.com. And let's just take a quick look at uh, this tool post and see what it comes with. So, of course, it comes with the main body, and it comes with this uh, this uh, holder knob. It screws in here, and this uh, raises this up and down. It's a dovetail to uh, wedge the the tool holders in turn it, wedges it in there, and you can change the height with this adjustment screw. Loosen it, and it comes out. All right, so we've got that, and we've got uh, two of these holders. They're the same. They're for turning tools and facing tools. Uh, and this one is pretty much the same, except it's got a a groove in it right here for holding boring bars. Special tool holder for a parting tool. And then this one, not really sure what it's for. It's got a Morse taper. I guess I'll find out what that one's for as uh, I go along. All right, so let's go ahead and get this swapped out. All right, so let's go ahead and change out this tool post. Um, now, the reason I wanted to change the tool post to the um, quick change type is because this one, this is the uh, tool post that came with the machine, and it works, but it's very difficult to uh, adjust the tool height. I mean, basically, you have to shim uh, shim the tool every time you want to use it. So the quick change tool post is adjustable, has adjustable tool holders. So it's much easier, uh, much more repeatable. And in the first video I made, I had some issues with the, the height of the tool. And I had a big nub in the, uh, the center of my work piece when I was facing it. And I got a lot of uh, feedback from people on that, mostly uh, constructive feedback, but eh, some of it was not quite so constructive, but it is what it is. So anyway, uh, that's the past, and now let's move forward with some better tooling here, okay? All right, so first thing, we'll remove this uh, tool post handle. And the tool post just lifts off. And now we need to remove the, uh, this screw. It's an A10, I believe it is. It removes very easily with an Allen key, Allen wrench. So we'll go ahead and put our old parts in this plastic bag so they don't get lost. And we need to uh, pull out this little key, st key, stop key, I'm not sure what to call it. And then there's a spring in here that we have to get also. Uh, I gotta get my needle nose pliers. So that just leaves the bare post here. So let's take the, the new quick change. And we need to remove this nut. Put that in the bag. Also, we don't need this plate anymore, so. 
the nut and the plate go in the bag. Okay, so now we need to uh, put this new post in. So just threads in like so. Now we need to tighten it. It doesn't have the Allen head on the top, so we'll just do it this way. Put the paper towel around it so we don't damage it and just twist it in. Yeah, that should be. All right, so now we take our quick change tool post, set it on here like so, and we'll use the, uh, the lever from the old one. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. We raise that up like so to be able to uh, put in the, the tool holder. And then pull it back this way to tighten it up. All right, so let's put a new uh, workpiece in here and we'll try a facing operation. All right, so we got everything locked down. Let's uh, fire up the lathe. All right, let's see what we got. All right, that looks pretty decent. Looks like there might be just a hair of a tiny nub there. So maybe that... Uh, might need to raise just a scotchy bit. But anyway, I think, uh, yeah, I can make that adjustment easy enough. But okay, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a real quick upgrade. Uh, next upgrade I'll be doing will be to uh, update the, the tailstock. Oh, by the way, that's called a uh, tailstock cam lock kit and I got this from uh, littlemachineshop.com if you liked uh, the video please uh, like and subscribe catch you later